All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Tuesday, everybody, on the 24th of July. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Donna. Happy Tuesday to you, too. Welcome. All right, Rich, George, Phil, Don, Frank, Lewis, JJ, everybody. All right, looks like we're ready to, we're ready to roll. Uh, listen, I'm so happy this Tuesday. I hate Mondays. You know what? It's not by coming back at the end of the week. It's just that Mondays was so slow. Yesterday, there was just absolutely nothing going on. This is probably the only stock that did really, really well, the RETA that we traded yesterday. Right out of the gate, $50 stock up to $47. Um, you can see the stock in April was right around the $20 price range. I mean, this thing's been on fire. It's been a great, great swing trade. I actually mentioned it yesterday uh, regarding about the thing. But, I, I mean, listen, the thing just will not stop. It's, you know, it's, it's down a little bit today. But, you know what, this is basically was probably the biggest winner yesterday that we had. But the problem with this one is that it was not in everybody's level. Uh, this is a very fast-moving stock. Uh, had a big spread and unless you were a cyber trader level three or even a four i think i would call it i would stay away from it and i know that when you're new here and you're like you're a beginner and you're like a level one and you're like what do i trade and so on but there were a couple of them but this one was obviously the biggest winner that we had the clf also another nice little mover right there stock eight dollars up to ten it's been going up pretty nicely a couple of people did pretty well on that one and uh, what else did we have? We had the we had that one and the CLF. Oh, and the 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 uh, the TLRY yesterday, uh, which is kind of decent. You know, I mean that one. Let me just fix the time frame on that one also. So you can see that one had a nice little move and it just came right back down. Nice little short. So a couple of people did pretty well today. Not I mean on on Monday, but overall it was so damn slow. It really was. Uh, you know, so that's what it is, what it is. But we all know hump days are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Sometimes we'll get a little on a Friday. But so we're going to get right into it. There are a couple of stocks I found this morning. And if you did lock in, log in here in the Cyber Group room at 8 o'clock this morning, you probably uh, did pretty decent on one of the stocks that we did call out earlier. Everyone should have been in there already. We're going to talk about the RI, uh, the RIOT. All right. So let me just get let's, – so let's get right into it. But before we do, just a couple of quick announcements. What is today? Well, this is why we do Phase 3 with trading with Fausto on Tuesday uh, – on uh, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So today is this new is the cycle of the phase three classes with trading with me live. So look forward to seeing everyone in there. You should have all got your log on. Uh, once again, your gold, platinum, and diamond traders. I'll see you in the next uh, about 20 minutes into the room. Just remember to have your questions and answers ready to go because we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to talk, to, uh, teach you a little bit more about Fausto flags and most importantly, the big shakes. Also, Traders Talk today, a lot of new trial members, um, new members of Cyber Group, Traders Talk uh, today at one o'clock. So you'll, you'll have the link to get, uh, get that also. So a lot of things uh, that are going on uh, this, uh, going on to this week. Once again, remember guys, this summer, you're not getting the crazy volatility is the best time to learn, you know, because September, October, November are the best months of the year to trade. So uh, just so make sure, you know, you don't get too cocky. You make some money. Great. Take the money and run. All right. So let's go over a couple of stocks that are moving this morning because I want to get ready for class. All right. Um, let me just uh, fix something here. All right. Here we go. All right. So uh, first stock we're going to look at is the MARA. Uh, that one has a really, really nice push right now. Stock's up almost 20 percent, almost 700,000 shares trade. Cheap little stock. Everyone could afford to trade this stock. It's got a nice little movement in it. it already, uh, Some of you sure already found it. Uh, it's the biggest percentage gainer right here. You can see here on the TradeStation platform, a lot of buyers out here and sellers, great high-frequency trades. You can already see there's a 16,000 share buyer at 137, which would explain the support levels there. That's what we learn in class. So um, listen, just follow the money, guys. It's all you need to do. 8,000 share buyer, they're all there. So that one's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to talk about the last one. You know, the ones I like, uh, but that one I do like right now. BBG is another one that's moving pretty nicely. Is that what I had right here? Mm, no, that's not the one. Which one was it? Is it the B? Oh, the B. 
BBGI. I sorry, spelled that wrong. Okay, so the BBGI. I don't know if the stock is on your short list. I, I spelled it. I missed the the I. So it's got it's got a nice little trend down. Only bad thing about it: very very big spread. And also, this is a scalping stock. It's got a five cent spread, which some of you students are, are my scalper students. You should know a little bit more about this, um, how to trade them. Once again, I love stocks with big spreads. With those, this is like old school trading. And uh, you know, listen, a lot of when you deal with pennies all day, it takes five ticks to make one tick on a stock like this, which is I kind of like this a little bit better. Um, so we got that one, that one. One of one of the ones that we've been watching this morning, and I thought it was probably the best trade so far this morning. Everybody should have been in this one right here. And let me just fix the time slot so you can see a little bit better on the pre-market. This is why we trade pre-market, guys. So around 8:30, you guys found the stock. Everybody should have been in it already at 7:10. So you should all. I mean, if you're not up 50 cents right now, I don't know what more to say. But right as of right now, that stock has got a really, really nice push. That really is the the stock that um, we already found in pre-market. Market. And, um, you know, you can see the stock was a $28 stock. Does it go to 28? No, it's not going to 28. I mean, it could, it could happen, you know, you know, it's, uh, and you might even see a unicorn one day, but you listen, it's, it, yeah, that's what it's, that's how you, that's what trading's all about. Listen, but it's not about hitting and making it back and going where it's supposed to. It's about making a day's pay. So anyway, um, some of you, I think you're pretty much done already just in pre-market on this, on this one right here. Now, you know, obviously the big news, everyone's talking about Google and, you know, they're up big from yesterday regarding, you, you know, they came out good earnings. Great. Listen, we're not trading the stock. You know, and I always get I always laugh when people tell me, oh, but it's got good, uh, good, good uh, options. Listen, if you can't afford the stock, you cannot afford to trade. OK, period. You trade Google because you know what? You don't want to type the money, but you could afford the twelve hundred dollar stock. Other than that, there's so many things out there. Listen, it's going to help the market, which is good in that aspect. But overall, you know, you're hearing people talk about it. And I, I'm laughing. I'm like, okay, like, seriously? You got to go out there and you can afford to trade that. Why not trade R R I O T? You could have made so much more money in pre-market and ri literally risk almost a thousand times less money doing that. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Another one you're probably hearing about this morning and stuff, everybody, is Whirlpool. Whirlpool's taking a little bit of hit this morning. You know, I never really knew knew that Whirlpool was at $185 stock at one point. Who knew that Whirlpool was at $134? Even like Chipotle. Some people never knew Chipotle was trading at six seven hundred dollars at one point. You know, but you know that yes, that could happen, and these stocks are there. But overall, Whirlpool is taking a big hit right now. I don't know if it's going to have something to do with the tariffs or whatever. But um, but uh, Whirlpool obviously taking a little bit of a hit. We're not trading it. I'm bringing it up because people are talking about it on the financial stations. I just want you, the reason I'm talking about it is because we're not going to trade it. I would rather trade R I O R I O T M A R T. You know. Uh, BJ's, you know, which we're doing pretty good on that one. That one's actually um, starting to gap up a little bit nicely right now, so we're doing pretty well on that one. That's the stocks that we're rather trade, not you know, you know, these expensive stocks. So anyway, that's what we need to do. Uh, Benito says the MARA is moving nicely. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's a nice cheap stock. You don't need a lot of money to trade it, and you know, at the end of the day, think about it. And this is what some of you trial members, the reason why you're here, you know, if that stock moves 20 cents, 20 cents on a thousand shares, that's literally a, a what, twelve, thirteen hundred dollar investment, a lot cheaper than buying. It's like buying one share of Google. So think about it. The stock moves 20 cents, two hundred dollars a day. You're done already for the morning. And you know what? You can make your 50,000 a year. Who, who doesn't want that job? All right. That's why we that's why we do this. All right. So anyway, any stocks that I'm missing, guys, because I want to get ready for class that's coming up. A lot of these positions that we're, we're already in it and I want to have some fun going into the, uh, you know, and talk about how we're going to trade it going into the open and, you know, and all the techniques and strategies to how to be successful at it. Anything I'm missing? Uh I pretty much – okay, now listen, guys. Not every one of these stocks is going to move, right? So we all know that. So we have a very small list. Usually at the volatile times of the year, like September, October, November, we'll get probably have 10 to 12 as many. But we don't have that many. We only have about four that we're going to look at, which is okay. That's normal. That's what you need to understand. So go out there and learn so you can know what to appreciate when you miss one. At least you got three, four other to go for. And not only that, but remember, when the market, op uh, when the market opens up, we always find new stocks. So as we see them, guys, remember, fellow cyber traders let's show everyone how we do it 
Look, listen, and learn. And if you see something, say something. Show them how we kind of work together because that's what it's about. It's not the Fausto show. It's a cyber trading university team. That's what it's about. All right, guys. You know what, Benio? I saw the tops. I saw the tops. And you know what? I'm not buying it. You know what I mean? The thing's all over the place. We've traded the stock so many times. I saw it. I'm not going to really – I would stay away from it. This stock, I feel like it's like dryers, and it's always like going to kind of take you for – you know, take for what you get. You got to be. Uh, everybody's trying to, you know, trying to hit back when the stock was back in the two, three hundred dollar price range. You know, could happen. Yeah, we've seen it, but don't hold your breath. All right, that's right, Ken. It's garbage. All right, guys. So good luck today. Let me get ready for class, and uh, we'll see you. Remember, we got traders talk today. You got class phase three that's going on today, and then, um, and then, like I said, we got the afternoon meeting. All right, guys. See it for everyone else. Good luck. Happy trading. And uh, see you a little bit uh, later in upcoming classes th this afternoon. Good luck, everyone.